ladies and gentlemen, the next contest, it is a tag team match. Introducing at 436 pounds, Jeff Ripley and his partner, the sensational surfer, Ray Odyssey. And their opponents, weighing in at 500 pounds combined, they hail from Toho, Tasmania. Here they are, ladies and gentlemen, Loka and Mako, the Tasmaniacs. Welcome back, wrestling fans. Do not adjust the color on your television set. You are looking at uh, freak test pattern. The Tasmaniacs with their manager, Dirty Deeds, Darren Wise. I don't know if Jeff Ripley and Ray the Surfer Odyssey know what they got themselves into, Mike. I think they made a big mistake. I would never have signed a contract to face uh, again, they're not pro wrestlers. I will not call them that. They're savages, they're cannibals, and totally uh, animalistic. And uh, let's really, not they should not be in the ring. Very intense individuals. I'll tell you, Very you intense. saw them going through their pre-match ritual. Now watch when they make the tag, they will headbutt one another. I have never seen that before in my career. Ray Odyssey stepping oh. underneath. What a shot! These two had some great go-rounds when each of them were vying for the Junior Heavyweight Championship. And Ray Odyssey knows Noga of the Tasmaniacs, the guy you're looking at outside the ring right now. And Noga, in turn, knows the style of Ray Odyssey. Those two have been up and down and up and down and this back and forth true. and down the street and back this again. Is true. And uh, When you, you know, know a wrestler's style, it's very, very hard to get an upper edge on him. He may know his style, but now you've got two of them in Look double. Look out! The here comes oh. Ray Odyssey outside over the top rope. Meanwhile, Menko is outside the ring, but it's too late. And he's going to take a shot. What a high-risk maneuver by Ray the Surfer Odyssey. That is unbelievable. If he ever missed that shot, I don't know what would Over happen. the top rope, leaping about 10 feet in the air, coming out onto the... Hard wood floor, and I'll tell you, it is solid. Yeah, there's Ray's no padding not a selfish, out there, uh, wrestling fans, like Ray's some other federations. Wrestler. This is hard wood floor. When you hit the floor, you're going to feel it. I'll tell you, Ray what's Odyssey good for one, feels good for this man out of there. Uh, Noga listen. now, sending his man into the far side. Here comes Odyssey, stepping with a shoulder block over his man. Up the other side, and... Barbara's carry Oh, out. my goodness! Tasmanian drop! Darren Wise likes what he sees. Take a look at him. Noga pounding away in the back of the head of Bray the Surfer Odyssey. Whips him into the buckle. Let's out a scream, but it's too late. He should have gone right in there, Mike. He definitely took his time and uh, gave the Surfer a chance to recoup. There's a two count. That's all he's going to get. You're not going to beat the Tasmaniacs that easily. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Darren Wise isn't already negotiating title shots for these guys. Of course, they have to go through teams like Ray Odyssey and Jeff uh, Grisley. But uh, oh. look at that. That belly-to-belly -belly suplex was unbelievable. And he turned that in, uh, originally started out as a bear hug, and it, it was unbelievable. He did a complete flip. And look at the surfer fighting his way back at a flying what drop, a drop kick. kick. And another one from a standstill position. Take no prisoners. Hip toss. Over the hip. And I'll tell you something, Brian. You're seeing some exciting IWCCW wrestling action. Unbelievable. I'll tell you, the action is fast and furious, hot and heavy. There's a back suplex. It's going to take Jeff Gripley out, and that's going to send him down to the canvas and allow him to think about uh, the match for a little bit. I'll, I'll tell you, one, just when you think you have uh, these Tasmaniacs down, they come with one of these uh, original suplex and just turn the tables right around. You know, oh, he dropped him right on his head. Right on the top of his head. Unbelievable. Oh. How would you like to have these two guys over for dinner? Uh, 
I think if we invited those two over for dinner, we would be dinner. It very well could be. Uh, so I don't think I'll positive. be doing that too, uh, too often. You know, you know how Noga here in the ring likes his steak within reach. There's another suplex. There's another another belly suplex. I have never seen so many impressive suplexes in one match. So many different styles of suplexes. Great. Ripley whipped to the ropes, and he holds him up there, lets him think about it, and drops him. I'll tell you one thing, Jeff Ripley is going to be feeling the effects of this like match a... tomorrow morning. I'll tell you, he's going to have to go to a massage therapist. Look at this. What's coming up? Ah, oh, what a savant kick. Holds him. There's that maneuver. And it looks like he's going for the submission. There it is. That Tasmanian submission type hold. I don't know if you want to call it the Tasmanian submission hold. I guess that's a good name for it. And it worked. And Ripley Ripley is submitting. Bell. Ripley can't take the punishment Ladies anymore. And gentlemen, here is the winner, the Tasmaniac. And they didn't go after Ray Odyssey. I thought they were going to, but Darren Wise wisely pulled out that controlling crystal, the only known object to be able to control the diabolical Tasmaniacs. There they go. And here we go to a break. We're coming right back with more wrestling action. Don Zaleski, Mike Mitman, Brian Webster at ringside. We hope you'll come back for more.